Hey, what's up guys? In this video, we're going to be going over the basic synth architecture of SynthMaster. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go new, reset, preset, and this will just have a general sawtooth wave open. And uh, there you have it. We're going to be focusing on this window here. All right, so let's get to it. So we have uh, polyphonic options, mono and legato options, right? Pitch bend, so plus or minus 12. Right, you have that. Unison, each each uh, layer has its own unison mode. So you can have up to eight voices. And that's st stacked up. And uh, you can detune them with the spread here. And do some really neat things. Right, and there's that. I'm going to reset again. Um, all right, cool. So from there, we can go to our ARP, and we can have the ARP on or off, and the, arpe the arpeggiator is on another page, which we'll get into. All right, so we have that, all that. Uh, so here's where we get to the main meat and potatoes. This is the basic architecture, the sound generation. We have a modular design, semi-modular. We have oscillator one and oscillator two. We select oscillator one and two down here. So this is like a context sensitive menu, right? So we have oscillator one, we can cycle through all of our fun waveforms, right? And uh, a lot of them have like really rich harmonics and we'll get into that. We can modulate a shape with something else. So we can modulate something else with oscillator one or modulate oscillator one with something else. Uh, in uh, frequency modulation or phase modulation, and we'll get into that later. That's uh, it's really flexible how that works. Each oscillator can uh, be independently modulated by something else or itself or you know something else. Uh, and you have all of your modulators here, four modulators, so it's highly flexible. And you select them with this here. Pretty fun, right? So we have our filter structure. There's a few options. Uh, we'll start with series. So we have filter one, you turn on and off here. Filter two, you turn on and off here. You can select filter one and filter two. So two kind of filters independent. Right, so you got your wobbles there. Really fantastic uh, filters. Actually, really nice filters once we get into the distortion. Uh, you can have them in series. You can have them in parallel. So oscillator one and two, they're kind of summed together. And then they're split into oscillator, or, and then they're split into filter one and two, and then their output, right? And their output into you know uh, all of your effects and all that. Then you can have split, so oscillator one goes into filter one, and oscillator two goes into filter two. So they they each get their own dedicated filter, right? So from there on in, we have our distortion, our lo-fi, which is like a bit crusher sample rate reduction ensemble, which is like a phaser uh, chorus. Uh, and our EQ, right? We turn these on or off. Again, semi-modular design. Turn these on or off via this, right? We have our tabs here, right? So let's... Um, I have the arpeggiator written down here, so I won't get into that yet. We have our arpeggiator. You turn that on here. And uh, yeah, it's just really intuitive menus, I think. We have our distortion, our distortion curve adjustment, which will be a fun video to explain. Uh, pre and post EQ for the distortion. Uh, Lo-fi, so bit rate, uh, sample rate reduction, uh, cutoff, so another filter, and another kind of distortion curve here, and our phaser and ensemble kind of chorus-y type thing going on here, right? Um, one thing I would like to point out is, so I'll go new, so uh, what happens here is kind of reflected here. So we'll go two voices. And we'll go eight. Right, so that is quite loud. One thing you might want to do is uh, have them free running. So the free running uh, voice is here. Right, and pan is here. So it's kind of a, a, an interesting way. It's, it's more of a flexible way of uh, adding unison. So you have the max amount of voices here. So you can have just like stacked unison craziness going on. Uh, and you can have each oscillator with eight voices. 
right and then you can just go crazy sorry if that's a little loud but there's all that so each kind of menu here you turn the oscillator on or off it's down here right and then your modulation and uh, we'll get into all of our modulation so um yeah hope you enjoyed that video we'll be back with some more topology and uh, more uh, synthmaster stuff so take care and we'll be back <laughs>